and just build into this game out of the gate and start to believe again. But we can head into Nuke now, the second map in this big Na'Vi matchup that we've all been waiting for. And while Na'Vi want to know up in the series right now, all the pressure is on the big boys. And number one in the ESL world ranking. Recent performance may make you question that. So Bing have a lot to prove already being a, a map down in this series. Got to pick it back up and show us what they can do. Keto towards ramp. Flamey is going to drop off. Upon spotting them, they won't even follow up. They won't even push down. So that's a good rotation with the bigger forces. They set up for this A take. Molly down. Perfecto caught in the open. It's going to get trapped as the smoke lands and no kills for Na'Vi. Finally, Perfecto finds one and it's all coming out in the air. Oh, simple in the sight with this CZ. He's only got five bullets left and he's oh, putting he them to brilliant use. He's in with a double. And now just see us in simple <laughs> there to seal the deal and seal the fate of Big's pistol round. So it is Na'Vi getting off to a good start here. Just as we all predicted, or at least thought. Then again, a pistol round is just a pistol round. It's this, this round right here, to me, is the one that becomes the most fascinating. Obviously, if you start to play that seesaw game back and forth of winning rounds, trading rounds even, the economy system never does quite settle. Well, outside smoke's gonna get thrown in for big. This is a four spy from them, so they're hoping to get something out of it. That nade is just brutal. Tizzy, and I hope you're having fun in the heart. They rush the A site now, and Tip Perfecto actually gonna hold the line with the Famous onto the USP, and he's lost Boomich. He needs help, and Simple is here to offer that up. Rain and death from above, it's Simple. Secure in the round for Na'Vi. They never let that one get out of hand. Perfecto, he had loads of teammates there to watch over him once the ammo ran out. And that's a very convincing anti-four spy from Na'Vi in the second round. So now they're teed up for a 3-0 start. This is like, this is the ideal beginning for Na'Vi. It's just about, just about running the mill right there. 2-0. Oh, mega lol. And now with these rifles, it surely doesn't get any easier for Big. Electronic playing up real close. Big Nade's gonna land on Taps' feet right at his doorstep. Simple playing outside with the AUG. Fascinating, to say the least. As I say that, Taps is good for one, but Simple's good for two, and that makes all the difference in the world. Looks for his third onto Searson. The rest of the presence for Big has shown at least to help them in the outside area, but just tizzying over towards ramp of any other ideas they might have. That's their fallback plan. I say that, Simple's on his third kill. And there's nowhere to go, nowhere to hide. Yeah, whatever the idea was, it was out the window the moment Simple just starts chipping them down with the org in garage. We do have Searson on the back of, uh, you know, going for that force in the second round and him leaving a bit of extra money. He's able to bring this AWP out right away. And so Simple is looking to AUG it in the garage again. Yeah, I was going to say he might be in for a bit of a rough time. So he actually invests in his own, gives the AWP over to Electronic. The AWP, the, uh, the AUG, almost the same, but not, not really. And this is quite nice because now Electronic can kind of be like that NAF-like player with the AUG in the garage while Simple is then freed up to try and help him with Searson on the... He's already done it, mate. Simple's already dealt with Searson. Never mind. He's just been removed at the door. So this round gets exponentially easier for Na'Vi as a result. And now if you're big, you might even start doubting because, you know, you've seen the AWP take that door peek. Electronic could even go discounted for here to outside with this org in the back of garage. Tapson going to survive the crossing into secret. But Boomich has already rotated down. Lovely flash. Electronic, he's going to take down Keto crossing main. There's many more where that came from, though, as Tapson's come back out from the secret. Flash back for Big, Electronic Friday stuck in the corner, taps and takes him down. And Big now own outside, but only one man in the lobby. That could open up a chance for Na'Vi to push, to get aggressive. Instead, they start to stack that top site, moving in from heaven. 
Flamey does eat and nade, but Perfecto has such a good position to deal with this one. Santaris walks in with his back turn, trying to check the close cubby. Two for Perfecto, that's more than you can ask for, but a double right back from Tabson, three in the round. Molly in the vent. They are coming from lobby and main, though, and he's expecting heaven right now. The swing from Simple, or oh, Tabson hears it. He knows, but Simple's too quick, and he takes it down with another one for Na'Vi. Two for Simple in the round, and four for Nartas Vincere. When Simple starts a game 10 and 0, is that when we get a little bit worried? Because <laughs> that's where he's yes. at right now. 10 and 0, the same as his entire team combined in kills. More than all of Big put together. It's scary, but now he has AWP, so it's extra scary, Harry. Yeah. And he started that round by taking down Searson. If we looked at those, those duels back last map, he was actually 5-1 and one against Searson in the entire map. The only time Sim, uh, Searson won that fight was with a scout. Um, we're not going to be seeing many scouts for Simple. He is fully bought on the AWP, back for more, looking to keep this ride running. Oh, wow. Speaking of rides running, it's ran down over here in main as Centares has opened up the round. Simple trying to keep this flawless streak going, but he's got to hit some blinders. Ooh. There's players going up into heaven as well. And Tabson's been very, very fast on this, but Boomich's wrap back in through main has dealt with one of them. Tabson now makes his presence known. And this might delay these rotates down to B. I think that's what Big were hoping for, but Flaney is still here and holding on as he puts up a double. Na'Vi claim a fifth round with two for Flamey, three for Boomich. And now we do have reinvestment for Big. Attack timeout called in very early, and I think it's, it's evident the pressure that they're feeling right now. Yeah, the big love going for this outside control. And right now, Na'Vi have had all the answers for it, right? Whether it be electronic augie in the garage or simple fighting outside. Flamey's been dropping lower very quick. And that can sometimes be a problem. But with the way that Na'Vi is set up on the CT side, it actually looks really good. Flamey's dropping. He's able to support Secret, stop those B takes. And simple, because he's all being passive outside and playing hell, he can take up that position. He can clean up ramp. And so big, not a lot of options right now. Got to take down the big man on the other side. It's simple 10, 2, and 0. Oh. Season's got his orb, though. That could be the difference maker. Finally, back in play here on the T side. No more org shenanigans. Electronic throwing that deep smoke outside as well. He's going to try and push back into main, into safety. His big light up the outside with flashbangs, getting a player on top of the silo as well. They won't be putting too much pressure on the yard yet, but players are moving closer towards with the bombers in tow. Simple's here, though. Playing the garage, watching the smoke, looking for the cross, and he already sees one get towards red. He knows how deep that player is, Tabson. Far ahead outside. Searson's come to join him with the orb. Simple's going to smoke in front of the red. That makes Tabson doubt himself as well. Oh, there's a big gap. That's Just fine enough. for Tabson. Sometimes when you don't get that gap, you don't want to push in because you don't know if Na'Vi have gone through the smoke or come up from secret. You could be walking into your death. But despite the spam damage putting Tabson down low, Na'Vi have this early rotate that we've been talking about. It's not Flamey this time, though. It's Boomich. Oh, well, they're going to walk right into his crosshair and it's Tabson that gets tapped, son. And now Boomich backs up down to Decon. We keep our eyes peeled on it. I mean, he's got to back away, obviously, as big start to intrude, even. They didn't even ask if they'd Ooh. come over. They just showed up. Yeah, Boomich jumps, and he, he, he sees the orb. He hits his head, so he's not up for long, but fakes his retreat out the door by opening it. He holds an off angle and finds the bomb delivered to him. Searson needs this trade or the round is done. And there it is. Now a chance still there for big, but the time is ticking lower by the second. That's how it works. 20 on the clock. Titian sat in hut. Searson's going to go up the vent with the bomb by the looks of things. It's all they can muster. Santaris needs this kill, but he jiggles and gives away his position. Electronic holds his own from the back of the site and with no time left, even this kill from Searson is meaningless. Na'Vi are going to win the round. Searson's just desperately looking to get out alive and that might be the only thing you can muster chased by simple not quite bringing that orb to ramp but it doesn't matter for navi fine take your gun get out of there six and oh this is a great ct side start and big have had no answers they're even going to buy around the saved orb as well oh utility is going to be lacking here for big but definitely the right call in this position. He needs to get on the board early. And Simple still hasn't died. Imagine that. 
seven rounds deep, and we're still watching the sim simple show. Business as usual. Of course. Simple oh. show as 24-7, day in, day out. <laughs> on all channels. That's right. You can see yourself on this channel. ESL.gg slash fancam. All restrictions and rules apply. Flash from Flamey outside. Tizian's boosted up behind red. And the crossfire has been pretty good for Navi. It's been somewhat of the staple oh, of their no. CT side thus far. Look at the smoke. Missed. It's not really gone as according to plan, leaving a massive opening for Electronic to peek, but the timing is just not there. That could be misinfo. They don't see them get down to B. The ramp play might give it up. Simple's already dropped one. The flash is good, and he's going to fall. But is he is he aware that he's falling into what is enemy territory? They're not out in the B site just yet. But Simple, if he has his back turned, it could be a problem. He's inside of the window room. Or well, he breaks the window and things around here instead. The wall bang oh. going through, not connecting somehow, some way. And Tizian, oh dear. He's got an idea, but he's not going to be able to take the kill. Back up the vent, perhaps, into A. The bomb is in door. Boom, it's just here. Oh, it's the inverse. It's the reverse. Big go down the vent, but they're going to lose a player on the way. Simple spotting one. He's seen the bomb cross in the corner. Simple oh, no. stop 13. No, oh. thank you, 14. This man is in for a fortnight and a great fight for Na'Vi. Seven rounds apiece. They are not dropping anything. Man, yeah, this is one of those epic games. You can tell it already, you know, like... Simple, 14 and 0. This is, this is unreal. And it's scary to see. Like, Simple so confident as they're charging him down in that B site. What do you even do if you're big? Because, like, you know, it's one thing to stop Simple when he's doing okay. It's another to stop Simple when he's still yet to die. As far as you know, he actually can't be stopped. That's the knowledge you have right now. This guy's immortal on the other team. We've had yet to frag. Well, now we've got yet to die. Boy, is Simple living up to the hype. No one's even needed to do all too much, right? Like, everyone's holding their positions. Electronics, four and five. He's the weakest link. But I say that with uh, irony in my voice. Irony is, in the voice now. Yeah, I don't know how else to put that. There's no weak link right now for Na'Vi. Things are going swimmingly as usual. Simple. Oh, he sees the cross. The molly pushes Tapson forward to the garage. I like the position, but he's got a P250 versus the orb that is backed up. Simple won't be caught off by this smoke lurk today. Flamey flashed off. They're coming to ramp. They're going through the utility, and Flamey is going to blow their brains out. Two kills. Make it four kills. And easy as you like it. Simple gets another one outside, dropping Tapson. And, of course, he's yet to die. He's keeping it up. Is he going to go a map without dying? Have we ever seen that at this level? I think, did Forrest do it once? Ooh, I think maybe. Forrest might have. But regardless, yeah. man, like... Not a, not a common thing, we'll say. No, it's really not. <laughs> yes, yeah, so Simple's almost got max money. In fact, he would have had max money. But he had to reinvest in nades. Why are you throwing nades? Keep your gun out. Keep clicking, keep killing. Yeah, I don't know. Just whatever you're doing, just keep doing it. It's working. Molly down the vent as well, just in case Big get a player through. I like that. You know, if you, you molly in front of the door, it can as easily get smoked. But that's guaranteeing damage if Big do drop, and they don't. That's not their solution yet. They're back to outside control. Electronic is here. Flash forward. He hits a good timing, but he doesn't see all too much. That nade could be good. And it's find, it finds a bit of a tag onto Keto. Down B is Tabson. This has not been a, a difficulty for Big, getting players in lower. It's getting past Boomich that has been the big problem. Jumping and spotting once again. The big problem. Boomich. Ooh, the gatekeeper of this B site. And he says, no, 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 Tabson. Not today. Not today. And Tabson, he respects that. He likes it. Just straight, honest, direct. Uh oh, Ooh. simple. How many more kills can he get before he dies? Searson has got the AWP outside. Will he ever die? That's the question. That's the real big question. Because right now, simple is invincible. He's not one of you mere mortals. He's not, man. He's something far more scary. I don't even think there's a word for people like him. And well, we have to try and make one. Tara's in the vent. At this point, Na'Vi know it has to be a B play. There's yeah. 20 seconds left. There's not going to be any surprising revelations in this round that lead to big hitting upper, and so the rotations are already coming in. 
And Flamey and Boomic just hold down the line. The flashes are good. Perfecto steals back another. And Searson's got to try and hold on to the orb. But time is up. And Electronic is still holding for the vent. Oh, this oh, is no. perfect. Oh, dear. Searson's like, I've got away with it. I've got away with it. And he's just going to hide on the ladder. Oh, Electronic was hoping to get something for waiting up on A. Searson hides on the ladder, survives. That's a very small victory, though, at 0 and 9 down. Yeah. Simple. 10 rounds in, 16 and 0. Are you calling it, Harry? We're only seven rounds off that. There is a world, but not one the big one to be in. Not here, not now. Not on their map pick in the series either. This T side has fallen flat on their face. Back to the yard smokes. It's been continued effort here outside. And Navi, they give it up this time. They go, you want it? You have it. Simple. He's going to rotate down lower to try and stop this orb. And as soon as he peeks, it's gone. The one gun for Big left out in the open. They can't even pick it up. And Simple's going to make uh, do with trying to stop them on the cross. They have no more smokes. The flashes go high. Simple is blind. And they will be able to scavenge that weapon, but not for long, because Electronic sprays down a double, leaving the orb once again outside. And Big have lost their control in the yard. Two deagles left in lobby looking for anything. Taras is trying to chase down the one player he knows about. Oh dear. They're going to try and send Tizian in. Flash is good. Tizian lives to tell the tale. Simple. Doesn't want to give up his flawless KD yeah. to a couple of Deegs, so he just gets out of there. Electronics rotated down into the B site to help Flamey out, and that's if Flamey even needs help, which right now doesn't feel like it. Electronic going to snipe both those kills away, but it's 10 and 0 for Na'Vi. Oh dear! Simple's very good at doing this anyway. When he gets spotted, he loves to reposition, but you know, he's really doing it this time. If anyone even like sees Simple, he's already on a different part of the map. He's just running up heaven, drop into A, push lobby, just do something else, go somewhere else, catch big off guard. And that's all he's been doing. Even his presence on the map, the fact that he's alive in the server is enough threat to big when they hold that tab key and see 17 and zero, god damn. Well, so here's a little stat. Big are uh, 11 to... 48. Simple is what? Si was it 16 and 17? 17 and 0. <laughs> it's to be the round though, Harry. Man advantage for big. They get the outside control. They kill Electronic, who's been close main in many of these rounds. He tried to push, he tried to prod. And now big fighting back. Good flash jump though from Flamey. It's not gonna hit the kill. Simple's got the cross instead. He knows they can't be secret yet. Big, they're going to back up. Boomy's just getting that info as well. He could find Zantaras, who's had a really slow start to this map. One and ten. Hiding behind main. Na'Vi, if they think outside's clear, that's misinformation, but they can at least see that Big have the majority of players back in lobby, lining up nades for A. And Simple is in the A site. If there was ever a round for him to encounter some problems, it's this one, right? I think this is where your your immortality gets called into question if you're Simple. He's going to oh. have to rely on his teammates to help out, but it's not actually an A play. It's a ramp push big. They've baited the full rotate of Na'Vi in. And this might have to be a save for Na'Vi. You know, they've lost B. They're three on five. Maybe they can deal with Searson back here in the lobby. Oh. Na'Vi is still looking to go for this. Now... They move in through the vent. Flamey, all of it hinges on winning that fight, and he doesn't. So now for Simple and Perfecto, 2v5. And Searson's rapping. Oh, oh there Simple. it is. Simple, we wonder when he would get his first death, and there it is, the timing almost coming in for him. And now just Perfecto, the last man remaining, puts in a bit of a hold at the vent, but that is it. And Big, they finally eliminate Simple. They get a first round. They have a five on three at one point in time. I would have loved to have just seen Simple play KD, I'll be honest. Like, when you're three on five, you're probably not winning the round anyway. Yeah, it's just a 10 0, you know, the, the world is your oyster. You feel invincible. And well, maybe you are to a degree. But it's the fact that Big have two lurkers still. Zantaris outside, who caught Boomich on that lower rotation in secret. And then also Searson coming in on the flank. Navi don't know about Searson either, so a bit of a stab in the back. And he may have got, went, went one and five against Simple last map, but he's already found that one, and that could be everything here for Big. Shutting down the man on the other side, who can immediately rebuy, no surprise, at 10 to 1. And will Navi immediately find the reset round that could break, break Big's economy and morale? This could be it. Electronic, he's had value here before. Will Big be ready for it once more? And moving through close to main. Smoke 
for the yard cross. They won't be taking that, though. Deep Flash doesn't matter to Electronic. The spray, he gets one. Impressive stuff. Oh, the team kill. They double up. Boomich takes Antares, who gets killed by Tabson. Perfecto now has to hold strong at the back of the site. They're waiting for the swing. And into the wall, his bullets go. Perfecto taking down Tizian. Searson can flash Tabson into position, but Tabson's going to have to go nuclear here, and Flamey will not allow it. Coming in from upper and catching him on the jump. Just Searson again, often left in these unfortunate clutches that just don't seem realistic. Ooh. Well, we've returned to our scheduled programming here of Na'Vi just beating up on Big, as sad as it is to see. A team kill as well to throw that into the mix at this scoreline. I think the worst thing as well, when you face like some giant like Simple and he's just popping off like this and the rest of the team are really holding their ground around it. There's a team knife, man, like big. <laughs> Yeah, Open to the mouths. Tizian's 0 and 11. We kind of slipped past that. We were looking at the, the 17 and O's, but the I opposite side Tizian of the scale. Tizian who just knifed Keto as well. Yeah. Tizian was also the top performer back in the previous map. He had over 24 kills. He had a bunch of clutches for big and was saving them in dust too. Keto is very deep. I don't know if Na'Vi realized. Electronic is looking at secret. This could be a ramp flank. Flamey seems very unaware about this possibility. So big on the duck dive down below coming up. Keto could make this round happen. It's all in Keto's hands. And oh. to be honest with you, he should be able to get at least one here. He even spots the second man back in hell. He is trying to get away with a lot from this position. Awkward. Down goes Flamey, no idea. And nice. simple court as well. A very weird round with Electronic and Keto just bypassing each other. Electronic kind of dropped the ball down on B and then drops it again as Searson finds him on the entry. RV in a two on four. Now they've got a lot of money. They may as well throw themselves into this and try and do as much damage as they can. But how much can they get away with? And can they somehow pick a round up? That's what we're gonna have to wait and see. With Boomich dropped out of the equation, it becomes very unlikely. As good as Perfecto's been, a 1v4 versus an entrenched big, that doesn't feel doable. Not in Perfecto's wildest dreams. He's able to get Searson out of the fight, but there's still three alive for Big, and the timer's just ticked past. I think he wants to inflict a little bit more monetary damage. Monetary damage? Monetary yeah. damage. Yeah, yeah exactly. Well, that'll do. Quick to switch on the knife, and that's just how that round falls apart. Big with a surprise, with a real stunner there in the ramp room. Oh, yeah. This is the one I like. All right. Can we play like this like the rest of the day? Not Just on have that as the only camera? No, no, no I meant like... Look, no. man, we got guitars out now. It might be our fans as well. What's more appealing to you, Hugo? What scares you more? What scares Bass me guitar more? or they might be our fans? I'm pretty bad at guitar, so... Harry could play a tune. Yeah, man. I tried learning ukulele, and I regretted it instantly. Oh, my. Play me. Oh, simple ramp. Deagle out. Not even the orb. Oh, there's one. Not the follow-up. Lots of damage onto Tabson, but not the killing blow. And simple, man. This KD ain't even impressive anymore. <laughs> you know, when he was 17 and 0, those were the good old days. 19 and 3. Yeah, not the same. Really has let himself go here. <laughs> Boomich down here on lower. Oh. Tabson runs in with low HP, and now Searson on the angle. At least he's able to get that trade. It's something to go off of for big as they look to try and salvage a third. Oh, that's smart for Perfecto. He doesn't run forward into the fight of the Orp. He actually runs away as Na'Vi want to win this round. They don't want to give Big any more chances uh, with this advantage. And we'll just play for the post plant, clearing out the doors. Big could even go up the vents if they get past Electronic, who's repositioned, tucked tight, waiting for this one. They might cross the secret. This is a ballsy move for Big. Electronic catches the timing. He does some damage and might force him into lower as they catch him on the retreat. Centaurus, though, immediately repeaked by Perfecto, who escaped earlier, only to shut down the round and make it Narvi's 12 to 2 and big they're just scratching at the walls trying to get anything out of this half simple he was caught close on ramp right that's why he goes to the deagle he was about to push it and he realizes the bigger running right back he had been trying to send Narvi the wrong way but even when they do there's always someone there there's always simple waiting and he gets one at least that sets Narvi up for the win dogs always welcomed on the fan cam cats surely too Cat jam, but maybe not the fan cam. Here we go. Big want to grab this last round of the half. 
They desperately need it. Tries to spray transfer there. It's electronic and ultimately he's only good to take downs on Terrace. Gives us a 4v4. Here's Tapson on his own little fight, his own little rebellion in the outside area. And that's short lived too. Boomich seemingly around every corner. Oh dear, he might have heard that tag as well. Tizian's still here in the top in the smoke. Simple quick shot, doesn't connect. He can play for the retake, he is low again. Na'Vi have been good in these post plants when they've allowed it to come this far. Kito holding on to the back of the silo. Boomish has a flank and they're not even ready for it. The door's wide open and Boomish swings it shut. A middle finger in the face of Big. Tizian's in the wrong place. He's still on that top site and he almost catches Perfecto. Oh, he still could. Perfecto's taking his time, but Tizian doesn't take the shot. If only he knew how low he was. Oh dear, this flank is massive as he's buying so much time for Big. There it is, finally coming through. Sis and now trying to stop them on the site. They're not even on the bomb yet, but it doesn't matter. Big left to one man and one man only. Simple's gone. The orb flies back down into the hand of Sears and, and he's got a chance at this. Missed shot, the grenade hits him low. Big, uh, Na'Vi need to get the defuse going and they do. Oh boy, it's a close one and Big pick it up at the end. It did feel like Na'Vi were taking an uncomfortable amount of time to get on the defuse when they knew where Sears was and he gets the clutch out of his hands in the one on three. Dear, oh dear, this is an exciting game. Join us after the break to see if Big will break back. here of course for this matchup and as we take a look at it it's Navi absolutely slam dunking on big plan here on the second map of the series nuke is where we find ourselves we just sat through dust two and nuke seems to be going by swimmingly for simple and company simple almost undisputed in the first half of play 
but almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. So 19 and four will have to do. Yeah, the thing that's so whack, right, is like you look at 19 and four and you think, yeah, he's having a good game, right? But then you got like people like Perfecto and Boom, and she were close by with similar deaths. But Simple was 17 and oh. So, you know, like give the man some credit, people. It's a fast ramp play, but there's a lot of bodies here for Big and Big Body Bags to fill. And Zintares, oh, him with four on for the ace. And will he be allowed to? No, never mind. Simple's like, ace for you? Nah, ace for me. He's in with two. And now he's looking for a little bit more. Goes back into the lobby. Surely he's not ready for Keto, who oh. does swing out and deals with Simple. But that was getting a little bit scary at one point in time. Big win the pistol, however, and that's now going to enable them perhaps to get off to a bit of a start here and maybe try and recover in this second half from a very one-sided game. That would have been crazy, right? Four for Zantares and then a counter reverse sweep ace for Simple in the one on five. Oh, quite a quite a dream. Maybe the script writers need to get on that one, but Na'Vi fall a little bit short. It's fine. They have a buffer. They have plenty of rounds to fight back in just to find four. Big. Brought up. Big. Lots of rifles. They got two SMGs. Searson's fighting outside with taps and supporting. No cross today for these Glocks. There's no smoke, no flash, and barely any survivors either. Searson, an ace for him, perhaps. Is it going to get yoinked? Indeed. Tapson gets there in time. And uh, big find five. But Na'Vi, they were only running that one back to buy up in the follow-up. And this will be their first proper rifle round. No op for simple, but this man can do it with anything. Oh dear. What's going on there? That's uh that's gonna be his player cam. Ah, that makes sense. Yes. See him push it back every now and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I noticed that. I was wondering what was going on. It felt like they were fixing something, and I guess in a way they were, but not anything that's gonna interfere with the gameplay. Navi, they've got AKs out. Searson donning his orb. Big look to recover in this second half of play on their map pick in a series that they are already a map down in, let us not forget. So can they do it? Can they do the reverse sweep here on this CT side? Because that's what they're going to need. There they are, Na'Vi. Setting up back in the lobby. They do still have electronic outside, but he's here all alone. They try and head into ramp. Simple gets tagged down pretty damn low. And now Searson comes in on the rotate with this orb. Spots that no one's pushed, says Zantares, comes back up. Flamey almost catches Tapson on the ladder. <laughs> it's a very chaotic beginning to the round and a nice slow one from Na'Vi. This is a, a classic Na'Vi round, really. Yeah, they're going to walk in towards the door by the looks of things. Simple setting up a main smoke. Hands the bomb over. They can drop vent, get that B site, but with no one already lower, there's always the worry. The big have pre-rotated and they have. Tapson is down to the B site, but he's coming out secret to check outside. Set up for this main retake. So many in A. Four here, four big. Spray down from the SMG is traded from Flamey, and they don't even know about the man in the hut. Keto is still here waiting on that cross. Sears is going to swing, oh. and Flamey punishes. There's the trade for Keto, dropping the bomb with 15 on the clock. Electronic, he has to run if he wants to win this round. Although, Santoris drops into the site. That gives up a one-on-one -on -one here against Keto, but Keto's going to annihilate him and Big save themselves again. Six. They've had the, the right stacks, the right reads in these rounds. Four on ramp on the pistol, four on A in the rifle. But where did Na'Vi go from there? Well, just down to Deagles now. And the last thing you want is for Big to start to get back into this game if you're an RV fan. You know, as we've seen from Big, demonstrated at a number of big events. Just think about DreamHack Masters for a moment, where they did the reverse sweep versus G2 in that grand final. Well, we know they've got the resilience and they can long these games out, but Ooh. Electronic, he's not interested in keeping this going any longer than it has to. Searson will reclaim one, but Electronic continuing his tear. Single-handedly, a one-man army getting into this A site. Nade up into heaven, forces Zantares out of there. This was an eco round for Na'Vi. The only man who had anything, like the mini raid boss in this Tech 9 and armor was Electronic. And my oh my, is he showing the worth of it? 
Certainly has. And the positioning that he's gained, the, the ground they've covered here for Navi. Simple and a bit of a backtrack. They're eventually going to get the bomb planted. You can see he's still a little nervous. Doesn't really know what to expect. Bomb's going to get planted for heaven. But already for big, this is a save call. They've already elected to retreat back in the CT spawn where they're going to hold on to these rifles. That's a hard ground to have to give up for big as well, especially against pistols. When Navi have this kind of lead, like you're building in, you 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 win the rifle round, you know, Navi have just eagles, and then Electronic just slaughters with a Tech-9 and grabs himself an AK to play with as well. Navi. 13 here on the second map, only three away from that victory lane. And for big, it's, well, victory pain. Fair enough. <laughs> They're still so close. And is it fair of us to call this an upset is the real question. Well, the bookmakers had it uh, as, as big as the favorites, I think. There's just questions with Na'Vi's consistency right now. Like, Big, I guess, would definitely fall into that realm with uh, with them being the number one rated team coming into the last few weeks and then bombing in Cologne. But they've started strong in the Pro League, right? They, they've won their two opening games. So I think it's just kind of hard to tell right now, right? This has been a long time since we had this matchup. It was last season of EPL, the big and Na'Vi actually took each other on. So it, it is hard to know where it's going to go. And right now, Na'Vi bringing the show, bringing the heat, bringing the level that we want to see from this team every day of the week. But it isn't always there, Harry. No, and this is now like, you know, having having that previous round turn sour is the worst possible timing. Uh, because, you know, if you lose this one, you've put everything into it. You give up 14, you've got no money. And so then you're faced with that horrible decision of, you know, do we, uh, do we eco and play up against 15, trying to get nine rounds back to back? Or do we have two force buys to try and turn the tide? And either one of those is a pretty grim option. So winning this round for big is, is a flat out necessity, really, if they want to get back into this one. And as we've talked about already, it makes you less likely to take gambles when everything's on the line like this. You know, you might be in a three on three retake, but you might feel more obliged to save as a result of this money scenario. But an opening kill for Zantares, the triple Whoa. lineup for Tizian and Tabson. And in the blink of an eye, it's all left onto Perfecto, 1v5. Now, if he can make this an expensive round for Big, he, he should have done enough to at least keep Na'Vi in pole position. Down goes one. The repeaks are in, though, and they are swift at cancelling out Perfecto. And so that, you know, not only did Big win the round they had to win, but they did it in a very clean fashion at that. And that is so important in the grander scheme of this matchup. Yeah, right, the issue for Dust2 and Big tried to pull the comeback in the second half was that the only rounds they were winning uh, were clutches. And so they would get out with one gun surviving with an AK. They constantly have to rebuy Galil's, barely any util, and never having the AWP on the T side either in that map. So luckily that's not a problem for Big, at least yet. They've continued to got the, uh, have this AWP on Searsum. Scoreboard has slowed down for Simple. That's fine, right? Can't expect one man to do it all. I mean, you can. <laughs> We've seen it. I mean, he kind of is in a way, but he's not. Just three rounds separate Navi from that finish line. Yeah, and they got the cash to buy as well, right? Split a little bit up. They might even decide to do something weird here, but, you know, drop over Galil's, simple buys an AK. Yeah, just text on the other players. Perfecto gets a Galil. That's fine. It's a good buy for Na'Vi. We see what the Tech-9 can do on Electronic, and so can't count them out of a round like this. Going back to the yard above the silo, Boomich with the deep smokes down as well. Three of them for Na'Vi being very methodical, not letting any gaps appear. Searson, quick shot, won't connect to kill. He does get pushed back onto 30. The Molly to Secret comes in late. Electronic is already way ahead of the game. And so Big might be communicating that B is clear for the time being. That is not true. Running through the Molly at the end of it is Perfecto. The spam back for Tabson pushes him in. 
And Na'Vi do have B, and Bigger only just starting to throw players down into this bomb site. Tabson comes through the vent. We have that secret rotate from Zantaras as well off ramp. And the AWP has come to fill his position. Very similar setups for Big as Na'Vi did in that first half. Yeah, this is where the real game of chess comes into play. Not that 40 checker stuff. Is it B or is it A? It can't be C, that's for sure. Tapson actually saw someone there. I don't think he realized till a little bit later as Electronic started to close the distance, but it's a good thing he realized. Falls back into the sights. Zantarez flashed out, but still winning the head-to-head. -head. He's come alive in these last few rounds, has Zantarez. And a critical timing. Couldn't have asked for more. Up at this A site, Flamey is still lurking around, but will he be able to keep the attention of Big here? Hasn't made any noise yet. 15 seconds though, Na'Vi, they've, they've got to go. Like they, they can't just keep waiting around and the lower this clock ticks. Oh, oh man. The flash leaves Zantarez blind, but that's it, the round's over. And Na'Vi, this, this like, the thing we were praising them for early on was the aggression, the kind of tenacity, the, the confidence to just be taking these rounds very, very quickly. Well, they go back to an old style kind of slower Na'Vi there, and it really does show why it can be such a problem. Yeah, right. This is obviously a very different map to Dust. It's going to be harder to get out with that, uh, that kind of play, but you, you are right. When Na'Vi gets secret, they try and stall it. They try and leave some time for Big to second guess, to, for Big to doubt themselves that maybe Na'Vi are coming back up secret and going A. But all Big do a, a double rotate down towards B. They set up Zantara's in his comfortable position by the silo, and Big just have this nice little crossfire to lock down that lower site. Very good at holding this B-bomb site off big. So Na'Vi, if they can do that same, force that same kind of rotation, but get back up into A, whether that be through vent or secret. Oh dear, that could be everything. And this is Flamey through the smoke, finding Keto. Superior start for Na'Vi in this round, despite the lesser buy. They're actually saving some money as well for a rainy day. Searson, he wants to make it poor. Smoke in his back, he can't. Go too aggressive here. Oh, the cross hits a shot. He sees the bomb going towards the ramp as well. So now dropping down is Zantaris. He's ready for the hit. He's going to give it up. The orb isn't here to fill the void like it usually is. And so Na'Vi, if they realize that, they can take hell and move towards this A site. This could be the perfect round for Na'Vi. Big, not even considering it just yet. And they've gone for this double B rotate. Taps and saves this A site for the time being by finding Flamey. And now Na'Vi might reconsider. This A hit could have been perfect. It could have been a four on two inside of the site. But now it's a three on two, no matter where they go. Taps and clearing positions outside on a wrap round to ramp. Simple's waiting for him. But waiting for how long? He's just looked away. As Zantarez arrives, Perfecto isn't looking either. And that's the bomb drop. Simple's gone. Electronic with one HP in a 1v4, now 1v3. But he's, uh, surely there's no way he wins this, right? One health. 20 seconds, all these things spell disaster for Electronic. And wrapping outside is not the solution to this problem. There's just no time, so he's saving. He's getting away with the AK and that's it. Big, now up to nine. Barely getting away with his life. And this was this was 12-3 at the end of the first half. Now 13-9. You know, you once had nine rounds separating. Oh, wait, I know you didn't. You once had 11 rounds separating you guys. Well, now you've got, what, four? Ooh. Yeah, getting scary, getting close, Big. You, you said it yourself, though, right? We've seen not only the comebacks in series for Big, but even the, the last time they played Nuke, as we said earlier, versus NIP, it went to four overtimes. And they were some crazy rounds as well, some really fast ones. So, Big. Definitely looking to make this happen. Na'Vi. They just need to break the mold, break the curse, get on the board again. It's been some time since. Big keeping up pressure with the utility. The orb moving back outside. Na'Vi are not here this round. Setting up towards the ramp and the lobby. Hoping the big give them anything, but why would they? We've seen hot aggression from Sirson's orb in the mid round, but not to start the uh, first fight. Taps and jump spotting risky if there's an AWP on the other side, but Simple does not have that in play. Na'Vi, and Navi have been trying to get value from every round, even putting money into Eco is considerable. 
amount. And so that's uh, going to leave Simple with only a rifle here. Na'Vi going to these outside smokes once again. The old faithful, the old familiar. Big on here. They gave it up earlier. Tabson's playing lower. He's looking in secret, but Boomit should be covering from the silo. Flash out for Taps, and here oh. he comes, here he goes. Everyone's white, and he takes down Electronic. Great start for Big, he can back up with that now. And Na'Vi are left knowing their info has been gained, knowing Big have ascertained where everyone is in the outside. Oh, Searson in heaven with the AWP, looking to get stuck in as these players try and cross. Missed shot from Searson, but he's gonna reposition. Realizes that hell is smoked off, and now after giving up heaven, Realizes he might have made a bit of a blunder here. That's going to allow the cross. And now big, they have to try and retake this lobby. They deal with Flamey. And now they can move in for the kill. They take this lobby area. They've got a rotation from Ramp, Sears and Molotovs, the heavens. Oh, and that's wow. the round done. The bomb gets dropped outside. It's all over. Even with Na'Vi securing the A site, there's just no time because of that peek onto Searson and the Molotov that he throws to enable it. Game changer. They had all the rap. They had rap. They had gotten heaven. They would gotten so much control. And then just one grenade to throw them off kilter. Now big are really back in the game. And Navi don't have much to their name. Shout out, Jame. Had the moment, figured we'd say hello. No, no saves today for Na'Vi. They're just getting crunched on by Big when they get these advantages. Out the door, Boomich going hard. He's going fast, but he's going to get dropped to the first hurdle. The Molly traps the rest of Na'Vi. They can't follow him without taking substantial damage, and so they don't. They come in late. Keto waiting with a great final bullet into the head of Perfecto. He's saved by Tizian onto Simple. And Big, 11 rounds. They make it quick and concise. Na'Vi... This has got to be getting scary now, boys. Inferno looms in the distance. I want to see Electronic fast wrap main again. That was the one round that Na'Vi were able to find was on the back of this main wrap. And with how big have been approaching outside, it still looks like a viable option, right? Searson's been playing heaven, just holding for a secret cross. We've had Tapson occasionally peeking late from secret. But the thing that's so scary is like big now, they're the ones getting pumped. You know, They're the ones believing in them getting this game back under control. And it's Na'Vi who are like kind of crumbling and Ooh, feeling all yeah. the pressure. And it just gets worse and worse. Tizian and Tabson with a double. Flamey trying to recover, but he's only good for one. Electronic and simple, still standing. And if there ever was a time oh, for the duo boy. to come alive, Bro. it's right here, right now. Searson all alone, but he's nailed Electronic. And now it's just toe to toe versus the giant that is simple. 23 and 12 on the scoreboard. Searson. In through the hut, looking for this last man. Simple could be anywhere, but he's hidden close. He's anticipating a squeaky push, looking oh. the wrong way. And so Searson just walks in, deals with him in the clutch, and it's a 1v2 for Searson to solidify a 12th on the board for Big. That's just unreal as well, considering the head-to-head -head between Searson and Simple in this series. It's been so good for Simple. He started off 17-0. He's now 23-13. and and like, not that you can put this uh, this comeback on, from Big on Simple, right? It just goes to show that when he's not having these massive multi-kill rounds, Na'Vi real str really struggle to get it over the line. So you can get into a close position. Electronic and Simple make it so. They make it a two-on-two, -two, but it's a clutch for Simple. Or Searson, rather. And we haven't really had Simple on this orb. Na'Vi have just been rinse repeating these top side hits, these quick outdoor plays. And Big always start with the man advantage. And when you see that go that way, it's so hard to claw it back for Na'Vi into these three or four man stacks on that top side. Searson, again, we've been saying his name round after round. He is part of the reason Big are here right now. An opening kill to Electronic in the yard. And Na'Vi... Like, you've got nothing. You've got to go on top of main. That's all the position you have in this. So in the first half, everyone was stepping up for Na'Vi. But in this second half, Simple, Flamey, and Electronic have had to do all the heavy lifting. Perfecto has had one kill so far in this second half of play. Boomich has had three. And so these two players with four kills between them, Simple and Electronic have sometimes got more than that to try and win these rounds in one round of the game. So... That's a bit of a, a rough situation to be in, especially when it looked like in the beginning, everyone was just lights out on Na'Vi, and that's why Big were having such a tough time. And it really freed up Simple to just take all the control he wanted, because it wasn't like we were depending on him to do everything. Boomich, dead outside, dead in the water. 
Now the fast ramp play looking to come in, but Searson's already here on the AWP. Now this Molly is going to force the reposition eventually, but he waits oh, patiently. Wow. Perfecto gets his second kill in the second half, but it's like a martyrdom nade after he dies. Tapson's already down in B. Tizian's here as well. There's actually three players at the B side of the map, so Na'Vi are walking into this stack. Simple. Will he check the man close? And Tarez going to get the better of him, and it's left onto Flamey. Bomb drop. Ten seconds. He's got to go. There's just surely no time again. I love that call for Searson, right? Like, if that was like a three on three or even a five on five, like, that would be a, uh, objectively like a bad move. But the fact that the Big are already up in a, in a five on three, like, it just shuts. It shuts Na'Vi out of the round. Four on two. They have to hit lower. Big already heavy rotate. They know they're not going to go into help because Searson's dropped the molly. Or, or sorry, Na'Vi dropped the molly on Searson. There's not a lot of time. Big have all three players in that bottom B site waiting for Na'Vi. They walk into the trap. Speaking of moves, might as well just bring some news out here. Some very, very new news. Okay. Okay, no cliffhangers. Sorry. I'm just going to read the title of the HLTV.org article. Go. Cloud9 to transfer current roster and undergo complete rebuild. What? Wow. Who's... Well, Trace, speaking as an ex-Cloud9 manager, can Once you upon a talk time. to us about that? Uh, no, I do not represent that brand. Um, but I'm sure... Well, actually, I, I know what's happening. But I'm sure that their next play is going to be a, a large one, a shocker. Okay. So good on them. Good luck. Have fun. In the meantime, somehow, this one's become a tie game. Yeah, I mean, current Cloud9 roster, definitely a hot prospect right now. But we'll get to that later. We got some NACS coming up after this series. But when does this series end? Because Bigger looking to make it a long one. Tapson catching a man through the main smoke. Electronics gone. Top site hit again. The rinse repeat for Na'Vi. Uh, boy, they need to wash their hands with this play because it's never working. It's never even getting close. Simple and another clutch that you just can't contain. Big. All over that A-bomb site, Simple has the bomb. That's the one victory here. Can he get down the vent? No one's stopping him, but that orb has just moved into main. Searson covering, and he's moving out. Simple. Oh, boy, there's the what? kill. Now he can take that route if he wants. He's going to look for another fight, and he almost has Tapson's number. 9 HP, the difference. Big, now take the lead. A 12-3 first half has flipped on its head. We were joking in the break about the comeback for Big, but it's happened. I was trying to tell you all it was going to happen, but for whatever reason, you didn't want to believe it. Now a timeout for Navi is they panic. This hasn't been working for them. They tried to go fast. They tried to go slow. They tried to be methodical. Big has had an answer almost every step of the way. Yeah, in these A plays, you might just need to, you know, admit defeat on the A play. Like, it's, it's not working at all for Navi. You know, there's still so much that we've that we haven't seen. It feels like you know, like they they've sat in lobby, they've gone for like these last ditch ramp efforts that haven't worked. We haven't seen all too much towards outside. That's something I'd love to see Navi explore a little more. That's the way the yeah. one round that they have comes off the back of. Even getting down like secret to be fast or doing one of the fakes where you, you get in secret, but you end up on that top site. It's just running out hard for Na'Vi. They're going back to Yard. Taps the first time he's been pushed out here. Electronic has the kill, and that is everything for Na'Vi. Searson's here. He has been a big talking point for this CT side with the AWP, but flashed out, unaware. Perfecto has crossed to the garage. Na'Vi have a lot of control right now. This is a far better picture here for Na'Vi. Man advantage, a man in the Yard. They can even leave him if they want to go back to these incessant and topside hits that they are so interested in. News Perfecto to come in on that late lurk that could make all the difference with Sis and scoped up. Psychops mode, he can't see to his side. Oh dear, there's the main smoke. The Molly follows Searson looking for a shot and he's going to find it. Perfecto moves out the garage to his death and Searson sees nothing more but the man behind red caught in the jump. Simple with the headshot, keeping Na'Vi up by one, hanging on by a thread in this round. Thirty-five seconds as they try and cross the secret, but Zentares able to deal with simple. 
And now they're left to try and split into this A site, but the push is very disjointed. And so they've given Tizzy in a series of one-on-ones. There's the swing from Keto, and he's just, oh, flamey up the bomb. He's faked it out, faked the ladder drop, and Keto just swings on the back of hearing him come back up. Big map point from 12-3 at the half. It's now them 15 to 13. Wow. We were saying, like, you know, we've seen the resilience, we've seen them do this at events in the past, but this one looks surely far gone. And yet they've stood the test of time. They've broke the morale of Na'Vi. And they are now firmly in the driver's seat. This is unreal. Na'Vi fielding one round on this T side, and it was from Electronic with a 3K into A. Other than that, they've done nothing. It's all blue on the scoreboard, Harry. The big boys have put this one in their place. One round away from bringing us to Inferno. And Na'Vi, like, morale-wise, right? Like we said, okay, if Na'Vi gets to this third map, we're still kind of banking on them. They're still the favorites to, to some degree there. But after a performance like this, after a one-round T-side, if it ends right here and now, where are Na'Vi's heads going to be at coming into that third map? And big, more motivated than ever. They've just pulled this off. 12 to 3. Even if they lose these couple of rounds, they got OT to play. And big have more tricks up their sleeve. Na'Vi going back to the yard smokes. They're doing them fast this time. No delay play. Speed is the aim here for Na'Vi. They're actually crossing quick towards secret as well. No one here, even here to stop them. Na'Vi want this lower side. We've talked about how Big's rotations have been good, and Zantaras is already here. Oh dear, not for long. Electronic with a kill, and the UMP swapped out to an AK. Upgrades available for Na'Vi as they take control towards lower. Oh boy. That's lucky. Yeah. Searson down on B, trying to make the best out of this situation. He's here alone, but he does now have a rotation coming in. Swept aside by Electronic. There's Tabson, the man that was rotating down. This leaves Simple Ooh. and Perfecto. Simple accidentally dropped the gun away and now goes back for the duel. Is able to win it out. Tizian low from earlier on. Simple onto the AWP and Perfecto oh flanking my. ramp. This flank from Perfecto makes or breaks this game. At this point in time, they try Ooh. and force the issue into Simple, but he's quick, isn't he? Keto looking for the wrap, but in comes Perfecto. 14 for Na'Vi. It's overtime or bust. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe Simple went back for that. He knows he's got a flank. He knows he's got a teammate to cover. If Simple dies in that fight, that falls apart. And Perfecto's clutch gets a lot harder. But Simple, man, this guy just doesn't miss, does he? So quick. And that flank was perfect as well. Playing Big's rotations against them into that B-bomb site. Perfecto comes in on that late lurk outside and gets it all done. Still money for big, but Navi have made these rounds close, so it's not perfect. It's still a shotgun on Keto. Almost a lineup. Citizen takes one for one. Boomage dead at the start of the round is traded. Tabson looking for a gap in his smoke. Perfecto spams him back. He knows what to expect. He sees the feet, but he can't kill him. Down to B Navi go again. And with a man up as well, there's going to be a lot less rotations to be thrown at this bottom bomb site for big. Perfecto finishes the job. And Navi, it may have taken them a while to warm up, to come alive on this T side, but they might be doing it up against overtime. Or it all ends here and we go to a third map, Hugo. Big options. Deserve big credit. And if they can do it in a three on four, props to them. They've had everything against them in this game and Big is still here. Look at look at Keto. He's pushing, uh, pushing outside with the auto shotgun. Respect. He's going to get the information that this area is clear. That opens up a rotate now for Tizian. The question becomes, how long can Zantares hold on to B, if at all, really? Mollied out, takes a Ooh. peek, does find the first man and lives to... No, nope. nope, burns in the afterlife. <laughs> As now Keto and Tizian. Oh, dear. They shoot each other. They give the warning shots to Na'Vi. Now they know where they're coming from. That's a little bit scary. Or at least they know that one of these players is here. Keto wrapping into the window with the auto shotty. Not ideal. Gives away his position. Tizian's good for one. Overtime. If Keto cannot win this 1v2 out, he's going to molly Perfecto out into the open. Where'd he go? Perfecto's disappeared. Disappearing act for him. Down into wow. the corner. And there's Electronic locking in an OT's map here in the second in this series. From third, <laughs> sorry, from 12 to three at the end of the first half in favor of Na'Vi to overtime.
that Navi had to grind back into. And they still do it, though. That's the thing. That's the, the crazy reality we're in. Navi have brought this to bonus rounds. And we're going to throw it over to a break. We'll be right back with this overtime in a second. In a tale of two halves, it's big that have a significantly longer chapter and a storybook that is certainly telling the tale of this nuke map between Big and Navi. Now we find ourselves at a very, very exquisite crossroads known as Overtime. Of course, brought to you by Harry Hugo and myself being Trace. And we're ready to get this one back underway. It was a long-fought uphill battle, but Big somehow, someway, after a 12-3 first half, <laughs> in the most unlikely of scenarios, put themselves in overtime. And then after that, Na'Vi still claw back the last two rounds in a row to oh, get us here after being unable to field anything on the T side since round four of it. Oh, push outside. Tearson's not waiting. He is rushing this one down. And oh, no, Electronic's so close. Oh, the knife out. He switches in time. Searson realizes too late. And Electronic with a man advantage here for Na'Vi. Oh boy, oh boy, it's no hard bars here in the uh, in the OT. And that is where things get scary. You know, Searson trying to be the first man to push the boat out. Well, they sink his battleship outside. And now, Big 
creeping into the lobby, but Perfecto has been waiting patiently all damn round, and he doubles up. Ramp now belongs to Na'Vi, but the lobby doesn't. Tizian's crunching oh. it. Simple crunches back, and now Keto here as well. Simple <laughs> goes back in for the know. challenge with oh, like okay. seven bullets left in the gun and just needs one. And it's always the team that, that just holds on to 15, that picks up the first round of overtime. Yeah, it's, it's a curse at this point. And yeah, Big definitely feeling the pressure to get aggressive, right? Like not just outside, but they lose that man. They lose the control. They think that Na'Vi is stacked in yard. That is not the case. Double push lobby denied by Perfecto. And that is a horrible way to start overtime after such a strong CT side. Big really need two rounds here, right? Like that's what they're looking for at a bare minimum. As Na'Vi have been slow to start in the T half, but now with money out the window and the buys in, Na'Vi are feeling a lot better about it. Simple, just styling, just running them down with electronic dinked outside down to 10. Keto spraying, they are so close to getting another kill. Perfecto is going to time his push through this smoke. Oh, he hits the first steps, but he's not reacting. There it is. Tapson's dead. Perfecto with a flick shot back. And Keto's going to try and hound him down, but the smokes will fade. And he is up for the taking. Perfecto takes two. And right now, Na'Vi, they're the ones to tango in the yard, dancing their way to victory lane in a five on three. Of course. Like we all anticipated here, Searson coming in with the well, attempt at an equalizer. Leaves it into a three on four, but it's Centares to return the favor. Simple traded, and through the smoke, Tizian Ooh. does a lot of damage. Searson's rotated down to B with this AWP, and he's trying to hold the line. He's going to get pressured, but knife out for Boomich. He runs to his demise. Simple. Oh, Ooh. his teammate gets taken away, and Simple left in the clutch, but he's seen a leg. They've given him a little too much info to go off of. Simple wrapping in through the vent. A player's gone past him. It's a very weird round. He's dealt with Searson and he's almost ready for Tizian as well. But Tizian's able to mop it up. That looked like it should have been a Na'Vi round all day long, but somehow Big are able to claw their way back into it. And Searson deserves a lot of credit there. Takes the man down on an aggro lobby push, immediately repositions and then holds the line here at B. Yeah, the so fact that he gets three shots off right there is incredible. And so fast to be that Boomish had his knife out, right? Like, that's something that's cursed Boomish in the past in thinking that areas are clear. Not in this map, but in other series for Na'Vi. Boomish has actually been really good today, but dropping the ball right there. And 16 to 16, Searson outside in the molly. He's so blind, he doesn't know. It's not doing a lot of damage, though. How that must be a Harry that? Russell Molotov, because he's just walked <laughs> right through it, taking 13 damage. And Big, they have the element of surprise outside. Oh, not for long. <laughs> Yeah, see us. Well, oh, bye bye. All right, all right, okay. Down goes Tizian. The A site open. Oh, up. Well, it's all it's all over, isn't it? In this in this half, <laughs> Zintares tasked with a one b five. As every one of these kills came in a second apart, and already there's only one survivor for Big. That bomb's going to start to get planted inside of A. It's now down. Zintares looking for anything outside, but nothing's being offered up by Navi. It is a heaven side plant. There's one, but Perfecto trades it immediately. And so Na'Vi, they win out the uh, the first half of overtime. They get two rounds over on their T side in contrast to Biggs one. And this has been a game of CT sides thus far. So can Na'Vi look to close it out here and now or do Big run it back again? I'm not ever gonna question the resilience of this big, <laughs> this big squad. Yeah. Because we know they've got buckets of it. Oh, the orgs are out once again for Na'Vi, playing them towards the back of Garage. It's been a go-to for Electronic. Simple with a shot in towards door. He sees nothing and gets spammed from the hut. They get ready for it, but limited damage. Simple dropping, not waiting with his knife out in the vent like he likes to do. He's going to go and support outside. I say support like there's even anyone else there. It's just simple. The simple show back again, airing now, big. They're watching it. They're concerned with it. They don't know that they can cross outside for free with no one even covering. Electronics angle is too passive. He's watching the garage cross. So this is a nice setup for Na'Vi right now. Big think that they're being watched from CT. That's not the case. And Simple hasn't given away anything yet either. When they start running, will he hear them? Flashes into A, bit of a fake. Tapson running the gauntlet. Simple sees everything, but all too late. Caught by Tapson. Into B they go. The bomb has been spotted. Na'Vi might scramble at these rotates down lower, and that's where Zantaras' luck can come up with results. 
Flamey has got a lot to do and not much to get it done with. He's going to try and get tucked in into this B site while the rest of Na'Vi slowly but surely peel around to join him. Flashes are in. 30 seconds. Bigs still have time. And they've just come out above oh Flamey, my. dropping into his crosshair is Tabson. The AWP of Searson gets the trade and is looking to hold the line. The bomb now retrieved. Plenty of time to get it planted for Big. And a double smoke down at ramp denies Na'Vi the peek in to deny it. Through the vent. Electronic just barrels to his death. And now another kill for Searson. Boomich oh. falling shortly thereafter. And Big, they tie us up at 17 all. Boy, oh boy, this is the game that keeps on giving. We've seen big and overtimes on Nuke before, in fact, last time. So will that leave them exhausted for the third map if they get there? Maybe, but they've got to get there first. This is where like Tabson's playing some like 400 IQ move where you just drag it to as many OTs as you can on Nuke and then win it. And then you hopefully try and exhaust the opponent moving into map number three. Because hell, it worked against them last time in that NIP series. Yeah. Simple lining up a flash for Electronic, he's crossed that side. Oh, Tapson's blind, but that smoke is deep, and therefore Na'Vi get no vision on it. Oh my, Electronic, he got shot through the smoke by Tapson. In the meantime, takes down Electronic, Tizian's out. Flamey doesn't realize the head is below the box, and Flamey has to drop. Oh, the molly is good, and Flamey lives to fight, despite throwing it, falling. It goes everywhere. Big. They get past the fire, but now they've got to get past the flame. He's hiding in the sight and put it, laying down the pain. Lots of damage, no kill. Keto with it. And Big, do they want to commit? As Na'Vi have already thrown Boomich down into this lower bomb site. Simple's on rotation as well. Big, they're going to try and go for it here on B. Yeah, simple on rotation is not as simple as it sounds. In fact, you don't want to see that guy fired up. Meanwhile, a little bit of stalemate down here in the lower bomb site. Bomb finally does get planted. Simple oh. through the last little bit of smoke. Oh, again, what? maybe you can continue to stack them up, counting bodies as they go. Just Keto, one frag left in this round for Navi. He's actually going to take out Simple, sets himself up for the reverse, and Electronic is there. So we're going to get a defuse from the Navi side. We're going to see 18, 17. Oh boy, this is what it all comes down to. Big, so much resilience. Look at this Molotov as well. That is not what Framey wanted, but actually it's perfect. It burns the bottom, it burns the top, it keeps Big back and allows time for Na'Vi to set up lower. Simple peaking angles, I don't even know. That's <laughs> when you think you know them all. Simple shows you a new one. Oh, put that back where I guess I... 18, 17. Once again, but the, with the, the, the script flipped around, it's overtime or bust, this time for big. This is a weird game. This yep. is a great game, but yep. a weird game, yep. all at the same time. And it looks like it might be a ramp play. Now, Simple is floating between heaven and ramp. He's going to have to come in to help Flamey out. Flamey, no Molotov this time to bail him out. So let's see if that's something that comes back to punish when this execute looks to come in. Some outside smokes and utility goes down. And so that draws Simple out of ramp, leaving Flamey to do the damage alone in this position. But actually, Big have decided against it as well. On the back of losing Zantares, they veer away from ramp for now. They can always look to return to it. But with uh, Tabson so close to main, and now looking to try and wrap heaven. This could culminate in an A play still. Looking to end above ground as Tabson goes up and over into the heavens. Up above the likes of Simple, who's now also taking a route up here. Oh, tries to go for the no scope, but he can't. And now they're made aware of the heaven wrap. Big, they go back to the ramp room a little bit later on. They've got Keto in the sight, but a damn good flick from Perfecto. And Tabson getting shipped away up in heaven. It's more damage done for wow, Perfecto, wow. and he ends it out 19 to 17. Na'Vi, they 2 0 this series. It takes them a little while from 12 3 at the end of the first half to winning it in over. Time 19 to 17, 108.